other. The New Mexico Health Department recently licensed four more medical marijuana growers, bringing the total to five. But how can the state be sure that the pot intended for easing pain doesn't end up on the streets? Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Take other states have medical marijuana laws, but New Mexico is the first to license growers. Each can produce enough marijuana for 106 people. This is all learning process for everybody. Four new medical marijuana producers are up and running. If we make deliveries by the end of February, it'll be amazing. It's more likely March. Lynn Goodman's New Mexican Natural Medicine Organization is one of them. He can't tell anyone where his pot plantation is. That's one of the security measures the state makes these growers follow. Goodman, a medical marijuana user himself, says his facility will be like a mini fortress. A secure building, block building, uh, whatever windows there might be, bars on the windows, normal security systems. Goodman came up with a plan and paintings. the state gave him a license. He was surprised health officials did not have a set standard for potential growers. They don't give you any answers and they don't give you any, any guidelines. It's you do the work. Dr. Steve Jennison heads up the medical cannabis program for the state health department. Certain applicants will learn from the experience of other applicants and people who are actually producers, but I don't think that there is a set solution to the, to the problem. Before approval, the health department does a walkthrough of the facility. After the permit is signed, the checkups don't stop. What we'll do initially is probably two inspections per year, and then we may increase those depending upon whether or not we feel that we're, we're getting the information we need out of that many inspections. Inspectors will check the books to make sure no one is making any money on the side. We will be checking to make sure that there is no diversion of medical cannabis into the illicit marijuana market. Goodman admits there's room for abuse, like there is with any business. But he insists he's not in it for the money. He says he just wants to help people. Dick, back to you. All right, Alex, one of the five growers is in an urban area. The other four are in the middle of nowhere. Their permits are good for one year. They can be revoked at any time.